to move up based on China's strong economic outlook. Back to you. Yep, 7-8% a year. Thank you so much. Lisa Oak there out at the SGX. Now, another big IPO to watch out for, China Yangtze Power. It's a jumbo 10 billion Chinese yuan IPO. Subscription kicks off on Monday. It's uh, placing out 2.33 billion shares. There's, uh, there have been a lot of worries in the market that China Yangtze may not fly that is very high or very far because of liquidity worries. Uh, but company officials uh, today, uh, today said uh, during a roadshow ongoing in Shanghai that the company will not go back to the market for money for two years after the upcoming IPO. Analysts say, though, that uh, it's just a matter of time that uh, China Yangtze Power does do that. China Yangtze is connected to the massive Three Gorges Dam project. This is the biggest infrastructure project in the world, and it is expected to keep buying power assets, which it will, uh, which means it uh, will require funding to do that. Uh, let's talk about the outlook for IPOs uh, more. Uh, Philip Chan joins us. He is research director with uh, Shen Yin Wang Guo Securities. He joins us from our studios up in Hong Kong. Philip, uh, good to have you with us. It's, uh, it's been a while. Uh, this Hi, uh, Abbey China, yeah, mini cars and helicopters, pretty diverse. How's it set to do from here on out after a, a pretty uh, stunning debut today? Yeah, I mean, basically, the, um, the, the, the company is, um, uh, it, it's, it's a it's not really considered a, a, high, a really high quality company, but uh, it, it's doing well because of the, the demand for the strong demand for China stocks at the moment. Um, there could be there could be sort of like uh, asset injection, uh, uh, an asset injection type of angle uh, later on, uh, because it's part of a, a, obviously a bigger ministry. Um, but uh, the I expect the, the stock to probably do um, uh, reasonably well. But as as uh, Lisa was saying before, that uh, probably there's going to be some profit taking in the short term. Mm. Okay, Philip, I mean, coming yeah. up, we've got another one, yeah. Ports Design on the 31st, and after that, yeah. PICC, the big insurer, November 6th. How are they set yeah. to do, do you think? Um, I think that uh, the for these two, I mean, Ports Design is obviously a, sm a smaller issue. Um, it's, a, you know, it's a reasonably good consumer play um, in, in China. Um, again, ex expect it to probably uh, uh, blip up on the, the, uh, the listing. Uh, PICC again, uh, it's good demand for it. Um, it's 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 a quite a big issue, um, and the subsequent insurance company issues are going to be smaller. Um, but it's you know it's the first one, and um, uh, you know I, I think demand is going to be strong even after it lists. So I expect it to uh, to do quite well. All right, Philip. Got to ask. I mean, bluntly, bottom line, uh, IPOs, mm -hmm. uh, especially Hong Kong Chinese companies, are they still mainly uh, punts? Is it still a China's way or Beijing's way to sort of a hive off responsibility for something that is otherwise sucking government money at huge rates? Um, no, I, I think that uh, if you if you look at the, um, the, the basically the, the strategy is to list. Um, Good quality companies um, on the Hong Kong exchange. The Hong Kong exchange is, you know, has got the the best uh, structure at the moment to to raise capital for Chinese companies in um, at a faster, you know, uh, at a faster rate. That they, they, they will be moving more towards the the local markets in the future. So that you know, you'll have um, uh, li big listings in Shanghai and uh, Shenzhen coming up. But um, for the for the you know for the moment, uh, Hong Kong is the best place. Yeah, but what about uh, timing, Philip? I mean, we've had the market run up uh, pretty sharply uh, recently. Are they a little uh, 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 slower, late off the bat? You think? Uh, you mean the uh, sorry, the, the H shares? The, I mean, yeah, the H shares. Um, the the uh, we expect them probably to um, keep doing well until probably the end of the year. Um, the liquidity is still strong um, for the stocks. There may there will be intermittent. Pullbacks, but uh, the the li liquidity and the sentiment are, are still strong uh, for these stocks. Um, I don't think th they're just not going to rise at the speed that we've seen over the last year. They, these these stocks have been rising mm. um, more or less for the last year. Yeah, almost nonstop. Okay, Philip, I'll have to leave it there. Good to talk to you, sir. Philip Chan, there, research, research uh, director, Shenyan Wang Guo Securities, from our studios up in Hong Kong. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll uh, get you up to date with world news, including Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad officially stepping down tomorrow.